help us understand what was happening last night. When, when you got there, what did you see? What did you hear? When I got to the scene, the scene I went to was where the BMW crashed over the curb into another vehicle, and there was a body bag down in front of it, uh, draped uh, you know, in the yellow body bag, and officers had an array of yellow tape out there and several other intersections. There must have been uh, 30 different uh, police sheriff and university police uh, units there, and there were uh, college students uh, in shock at the scene at what they had seen there and also on the other streets as you say there were nine different crime scenes this vehicle was in motion on a number of blocks in this densely populated college town there's 20,000 students in a half square mile area there and uh, the vehicle was not speeding through it wasn't a speeding drive by we are told by eyewitnesses it was a slow rolling uh, drive by and at times there's at least one or more witnesses that believe the driver was trying to engage conversation with who might be the eventual victims. And in one instance, there was a bike down and two uh, deceased people there. And uh, there was a heroic effort in front of a 7-Eleven convenience store uh, in Isla Vista where a, a girl got a, a, a bullet in her leg and the employees came out of 7-Eleven and grabbed her and dragged her back in and others from the street came in and, and sought shelter. I mean, that's absolutely heroic with, with gunshots going on. Mm -hmm. And then we're told right around that same time there was an engaged gun battle between the driver and the sheriff's deputies there and on another block. A rolling gun battle was taking place there and that was just unbelievable for people to see. Yeah, yeah. there's a witness who uh, told uh, one of your reporters uh, there at KEYT that it resembled an old western shootout. John, for people who don't live in this town, uh, give us an idea of how large of an area we're talking, how far apart are these nine crime scenes spread? They're probably spread over about four blocks, four small uh, community blocks. This is a college community with a lot of dorms and and, uh, and, and sorority and fraternity houses and houses converted into rentals. And it's right adjacent to UC Santa Barbara. So they're almost one of the same, but they are, are not, uh, you know, jointly owned. So they're very close to the campus, densely populated. And on a Friday night, everyone's out walking the streets, going to house to house, going to parties. And some of the community college students who are in the area live out there as well. And they had their graduation yesterday. So they were especially celebrating what all this uh, horrific violence took place. John, the LA Times reporting that the suspect has been preliminarily ID'd, but that they're not releasing that information until they make that exact, distinct, positive identification. What do you know about the suspect? We believe the suspect's a young male. They're, um, they have not released his name, but they are are familiar with some videos and some writings that have been referenced by Sheriff Bill Brown, who was very careful not to jump the gun on this. John, uh, until by the way, um, I just all together. John, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I, I'm being told we just want to make sure. As I said, we know that there's a preliminary ID. We just want to make sure you do not publicly say his name because it has not been positively ID'd. I'm sorry I interrupted you with that. We just wanted to make sure it didn't. We didn't get some information out there that is not yet to be. Uh, released, but please go ahead and tell us what else you know about him. Yeah, I'm very uh, familiar with that because we don't want to jump the gun on this, and the sheriff certainly doesn't want to do that. We want to uh, make sure that, that, that that's accurate. But sure. he did reference publicly that there was a video and uh, written evidence that they're looking at, and they are, are familiar with, with maybe that this was a pre-planned uh, attack by what he described as a madman. Uh, but it, it, uh, it is believed to be a young male that was behind all this. And currently we believe that there is only one gunman involved here. There were some uh, eyewitness accounts that possibly there might have been more than one, but that, uh, of course, sometimes happens in these kinds of confusing and horrific situations. Hey, John, we know that, uh, again, seven people dead, including the uh, suspect, the alleged shooter here, also seven people in hospitals. Any update on those seven injured? Uh, my understanding is that, uh, that they uh, are not all gunshot victims. 
that one was a bicyclist that was hit in this uh, in this driving gun battle by the vehicle and has a massive head trauma. And they were uh, calling on the scanners, in which I was carrying one personally and listening and racing to the scene for multiple ambulances and multiple rescue units to get to the victims and trying to sort out who had what. But among the victims, uh, I'm very familiar with one that had a what they call a through and through gunshot wound to the leg. Mm. Uh, one to the arm, another one got shot in the back, and uh, then the bicycle uh, uh, victim that had the massive uh, head injury as well. So I'm familiar with those four injuries. I am not uh, updated on their conditions or the type of treatment they've had at Santa Barbara's Cottage Hospital. Okay, and we know that they're holding their identities as well. Yes. Um, as well as the identities of those who have died until next of kin, obviously.